master cutting a piece of Juamon uh, Koro and the fruits will be in this direction okay not this way it will be like this so the reason we do that is to make it uh, you know to form a better looking pair of pearl shape I have seen many eagles where the wing is kind of folded into angles instead of curves. So the piece we have at hand right now is a four feet length wingspan, a four feet wingspan drawn on color shape, which is cut into sixteen and a half inches wide. Now the next step, what we have to do is to draw a line in the middle, which will be uh, eight inch and a quarter. Okay, so now we mark it, which is going to be our center line. And once we fold it, it's going to become our leading edge. Okay, after marking it, use a straight edge. Preferably something that is long enough to reach both end of uh, the sheet. This line is not necessary, but it may help you fold it. Or you can directly go into something which has a blunt edge. This point might be the top having it. Should be able to fold it this way. Okay. This will give you a nice looking sharp leading edge. Mark your or two and a quarter in this from your leading edge. That's going to be your spot line. Okay. Once you mark it, you draw a line so that you get a reference point. That will do. So, in this method, what makes it easier is that you don't have to, you know, work hard to make this uh, aerofoil shape. All you have to do is just fold this together, apply glue on the inner side of the training edge glue them together but before you do that you have to prepare your aileron pieces and once you have those pieces ready you will apply them here first you will glue them to one side of the inner one inner side of the ring here then we will fold it and glue it together and leave it for curing properly and once we do that we will prepare our spar and we will simply insert it into the ring. That's it. We will do it. So let's cut our inner round pieces. Okay, once we have the wing piece cut. We we'll prepare a 3 mm, or if you can source 4 mm for that will be even better. Since locally what we have is only 2 and 3, we we'll use a piece of uh, 3 mm for 
which is cut uh, just shy of two inches and we will mark from the edge let's say one two three four five and six and eight and we'll draw a line and this would be roughly one inch and a quarter like this let's say one flute less than one inch and a quarter which would be more than enough for our eyebrows so once we do that the procedure what we do is and one thing to note is that the flute direction on this 3mm on everyone piece is expanders while the other piece is cord wires okay. this is 2mm uh, power shoe 4 feet wind span uh, 8 and a quarter inch by length by, by cord which is bent from the middle and this is 3mm coro cut into, into a size of 4 feet wind uh, by span and then 2 inches by width and the flute direction is span wise. Now what we do next is based on the line we draw, we place it inside, we we'll glue it here, apply holes, let it dry and once it's done we will fold this together. We'll do it in this manner and we'll let it dry. Drawing a line in a coro fluid wise is easy because the fluid itself becomes a guide for you and you can draw a line without making a mistake. Okay. You have a line ready and this is going to be your area of this. This will be glued inside. Okay. One method of you know, gluing coro that I learned from some cool guys in the spag road is to use mineral spirit. But since we don't have mineral spirit available here, I'll be using turpentine. The, the proper method is to apply turpentine. We use uh, a scratch bite or something like that, which is used for dishwashing. But instead of that, I'll be using a sandpaper. Clean it properly. Do the same to our for this. Once we place 
grade on this inside you will know how far it should go inside and then you don't end up doing a mistake while you are doing it. your piece is ready you apply the glue to the small droplets Making sure it's placed in the proper manner. There's a piece of uh, string pitch or an aluminium pipe, square pipe, on top of it. And apply some pitch to ensure that the glue sticks to it properly. Properly, you can go ahead and sand the other piece. And don't forget to do the same here. Since you are sanding, applying the weapon then is not that important. For peace of mind, I always do that. So once it's ready, we go ahead and apply the glue on the other side. Seen people who do this with some weight for overnight to make sure it's properly good. But in my experience, for equipment, it's not necessary. You can simply apply some glue, use some force, wait for a couple of minutes, and you know, see it. The price pretty good. So once it's done, Both sides of your leaning edge will be properly glued to the railroad on piece. And at this point, we are pretty close to finishing the build of the wing. All, all you are going to need is just to prepare your spar. We will prepare our spar using 3mm Toro. 4mm is much better compared to 3mm in this case but since we have only 3mm available we use 3mm pieces uh, the good thing about Toro is that once you use uh, the floats in a crisscrossed manner and glue them together the strength 
of the koro increases way more and once you add more pieces into it in the same manner the rigidity that you get is more than enough for a spot so let's move on to building our spot